Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to present my top 10 free Windows applications. And just to be clear, I don't mean trials here, I don't mean programs with limited features with things like watermarks on images or limited save capabilities. No, I mean fully functional programs you can download and use forever for free on a Windows PC. Oh, and while I'm at it, it's worth noting that many of these programs can also be downloaded and used for free on Mac or Linux, and where this is the case, I'll indicate that on the screen. At 10, we have Sculptris from Pixelogic, available for download from pixelogic.com forward slash Sculptris. As you can see, Sculptris is a 3D sculpting program and is a cut down but perfectly capable version of a package called ZBrush, which is widely used in professional 3D modeling. At 9, we have Critter, an open source painting program which can be downloaded from critter.org. As I demonstrated in a recent video, Critter offers some fantastic tools that simulate traditional drawing and painting media. The program has been written by artists for artists and works extremely well with a graphics tablet. Rising to 8, we have Scribus, an open source desktop publishing package that can be downloaded from scribus.net. Note that, although only Windows XP, Vista 7 and 8 are listed, the current version of Scribus works fine with Windows 10. Scribus has a lot of templates and a whole host of typesetting controls and it's a pretty competent DPT program that can produce some great results. Next at 7 we have Inkscape, a vector graphics package available from inkscape.org. As I demonstrated in a recent video, Inkscape provides a wide range of structured drawing tools to make artwork that can be cleanly scaled, and it's a very credible free alternative to Adobe Illustrator. Switching from graphics to sound, at 6 is Audacity, the ever popular open source sound editor available via audacityteam.org. Audacity is a good, stable program that provides all the basic audio editing tools and indeed some more sophisticated audio editing tools, and as such it's a very handy addition to any PC. Next at 5 is 3D CAD package SketchUp Make, available from SketchUp.com. Note that SketchUp Make is a free version of a paid product called SketchUp Pro, and that to obtain the free version you need to indicate on the download screen that you plan to use SketchUp for personal projects. SketchUp has become one of the most popular free modelling programs used by hobbyists to make objects for 3D printing, and not least because it's pretty intuitive to learn to use. At 4 we arrive at GIMP, the open source image editor available from GIMP.org and which provides a solid free alternative to Adobe Photoshop. The program can take some getting used to, but as I showed in my video on free Photoshop alternatives, it offers some great functionality for those who are willing to climb its learning curve. Taking the bronze medal, at 3 on our list is Blender, a superb open source 3D modelling package available from Blender.org. Right now, I have very little personal experience with Blender, but I know it can be used to produce fantastic CG images and animation, as well as to make objects for 3D printing. Blender even features an integrated compositor and a basic video editor, so it really does offer a wealth of functionality. At 2, our silver medal winner is the DaVinci Resolve video editor, available from blackmagicdesign.com. To get the free version, make sure that you download DaVinci Resolve on the left, and not DaVinci Resolve Studio on the right. As I've shown in several other videos, DaVinci Resolve is a very capable video editor with a wealth of professional functionality. Note however that you do need a 64-bit version of Windows to run the program, coupled with at least 8GB of RAM and at least 1GB of graphics memory. Finally at 1 we have Apache OpenOffice, which can be downloaded for free from openoffice.org. The program offers a Microsoft Office compatible word processor, spreadsheet, presentation package, drawing package and database, and has already been downloaded over 200 million times. Since 2010, 
Another great free office package called LibreOffice has been available, which is an ongoing fork from the OpenOffice code. As you can see, OpenOffice and LibreOffice remain very similar and so ought to really share the top position in this list. However, I personally prefer OpenOffice on a Windows PC and so it gets the winning position here. So there you are, my top 10 free Windows applications. And I have of course included download links to all of those packages in the video description. Now, there's a few things I've not included in the list and you might have been expecting there. Most notably in terms of 3D applications, I've not included anything from Autodesk 123D. And the reason for this is that these packages are currently in a state of transition. But if you are interested in, in 3D modeling and that type of thing, Autodesk 123D has some great stuff available and I'm sure will continue to do so. The other package I've not included here, which is absolutely amazing free download, is Fusion from Blackmagic Design which is a 2D and 3D compositor and motion graphics program. So if you're into video and you've got a beefy PC, you may well want to check that out. And of course, there might be things I've missed and not mentioned here. You're thinking, why wasn't that on the list? In which case, please let us all know about what that package is. Tell us all nice and politely down in the comments section. Maybe give us a link and we can share information on all the great things you can do for free with Windows. And I think it really is amazing, as hopefully this video has shown, it's now possible to install an operating system and not just a Linux operating system, but Windows itself, and you can install it and have loads of free applications on your PC for doing all kinds of work. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.